Hey guys, whatever ICT here, and today we will be making a quick unboxing and review of the Huawei P30. So some of the stuff for it is listed right here. It comes with 128 gigs of internal storage. Now it also comes with 64 gigs and 256 gigs of storage. It can also be expanded via the Nano SIM. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM. It also comes with 6 gigs, but that depends on where you buy it. Same for the internal storage. Now here I chose one of the five colors, which is the black color. It comes with five colors, which are the Amber Sunrise, Breathing Crystal, Pearl White, uh, um, Aurora Blue, and Black. So let's get right to it. Ox. Okay, so here's a device. Here we go. So uh, I wasn't able to stuff all the things in, but stuff that comes with it are this thing. This is the Huawei supercharger. It is in the 40 watts, so that's just these, uh, a little bit of a faster charger. It's 22.5, uh, kind of decent for this device. Uh, the P30 Pro powers is, pa is powered by the 40 watt charger, which charges much faster than this. And even if you try charging it with a 40 watt charger, it won't make much of a difference. And here we have headphones and one of the great news that came with the P30 is something great. I think you guys know where I'm going with this thing, right? Okay, so I don't need to talk about that. It's not right yet. That is just the USB 2.0 to USB-C. But uh, that's the thing to enable fast charge. And right here, it comes with a transparent case, which is kind of nice from Huawei. This is the standard transparent case, you don't want to hide the colors of P30. Uh, on the back here, that's just the SIM ejection tool. Nice, so we're done with the components of the box, but we'll just shove that to the side. And get on with the phone. Let's just boot this thing up. There, the vibration. Now that's just standard uh, booting up for PA devices. Now here we are. Instead of a quadruple camera setup, we got a triple camera setup. So that's the difference right here. There's no time of flight camera that's present on P30 Pro. Right here we got the uh, 40 megapixel super spectrum shooter. Uh, here we got the 16 megapixel ultra wide shooter. And right here we got the uh, 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now I will be saying what does the uh, super spectrum sensor stand for but uh, in a moment please. Ooh. So here's the actual device when booted up. Uh, I've already inputted all my data and I customized it to my liking. And to be honest, I kind of like this uh, multiple color hues that I place as a wallpaper. Uh, and to be honest, uh, when I open this thing, it kind of reminds me of the iPhone for some reason because the positioning of this part right here uh so i just want to point that out uh it also comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor so that's something great it's a traditional one uh so when we put on to system now phone uh right here right here it, this is the device name i could change that if i want to uh that is the model number. I don't think we'll get much use out of that. Build number, no, no. Oh yeah, it actually powers, this thing is GPU Turbo 2.0. Uh, 
what does that mean in English? It means that when you go into games and such things, it will be much smoother. Oh, much smoother and much better quality. Hopefully higher frame rates. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't test the frame rates part yet. Uh, now, it recently got an update which upgraded the EMUI to 9.1 which made a new uh, option for cameras. I will be hopping into that later on. Android version is the Android Pie. Uh, it is also part of the Huawei customized high silicone Kirin 980 chipset, the very same 7.7 7 nanometer chipset that was used on the on last year's Huawei Mate 20 series. So now right here it comes with a mono speaker setup. It doesn't come with a stereo which is kind of sad but when I checked it out the audio quality was pretty good. Uh, right here we got the uh, USB type C uh, and here we get the headphone jack to plug in your plug in your headphones if you're not a fan of Bluetooth. Right here, this is the SIM tray. Right here, you don't uh, just a microphone, but something that is not present on the P30 is the IR blaster. It is present on the P30 Pro, so that's the difference right here. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Here is the uh, volume rocker. Kind of clicky. Um, and this is the power button, and it's highlighted in red. Kind of contrasts it pretty good. Now, let's move on to the fun part the cameras. Now, here is one picture that I just took now. Um, kind of the. When I look at it first glance, I don't see much of a difference compared to the P30 Pro. But my guess is that the pictures on the P30 Pro will be much, much sharper than this due to the pre presence of the time of flight camera. So it kind of makes sense that there will be a little bit of a difference in portrait shots. Now, another picture that I just took is this thing right here. You get those deep blacks and vibrant colors. So yeah, I don't see much of a difference when I compare it to the P30 Pro. Uh, the only difference really is will be a little bit of a sharper shot. Other than that, there will be literally no difference whatsoever. So let's hop on onto the music and testing that mono speaker. But before I actually do that, uh, I forgot to mention that there is a 32 megapixel selfie camera right here uh, which is surrounded by a U style or a dew drop notch um, and about that super spectrum part um, it senses RYYB uh, instead of the usual RGB which allows more light to enter into the camera therefore bringing in much brighter colors blah 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 so let's hop on onto the music app. Oh, there's actually one right here. Okay, let's start. So audio quality on this thing is good, not great, uh, because if you want to listen to music, you will have to use stereo because it will bring you the most bass, much better audio quality and that type of thing. There's actually uh, not the usual uh, 
double double speaker with the earpiece. So uh, if you want to listen to music, I'd recommend using the headset included or an even better option uh, is by either using a Bluetooth speaker or just a Bluetooth uh, earphones. They will give you better bass and it will just sound much better than this thing. Now the final two things I'd like to discuss here are the uh, unlock, unlock stuff. Never mind. Uh, so I already enabled uh, always on display, which kind of looks pretty good. Good advice. Uh, so you get three types of for unlocking this device. Here is the uh, in-screen fingerprint. It's an optical reader, not an ultrasonic one, but still, it is really good. It's really responsive and really accurate. Another thing is the uh, facial recognition. Uh, which uses the uh, 32 megapixel selfie camera to recognize your face, although I do not recommend that um, Since sometimes the facial recognition does not recognize your face correctly uh, I'd recommend using phone if you're like into facial recognition I'd recommend using phones that uses an iris sensor or an iris scanner uh, And last thing is this thing inputting your pin so those are the only three types for unlocking your device thank you guys for watching this review and like share subscribe and comment and if there is anything I missed uh, about this device Please do send it here for the comments and if you've got any questions about this device also please go on to the comments and yeah we will be seeing you next time with a brand new review.